Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's time to hit the spliff. Hot Marley has a 10% double IPA from Starving Artist Brewing in Ludington, Michigan. First off, I want to give a huge shout out, big thanks to viewer David. He sent me this beer along with a few other beers, but being that this is a Michigan-centric channel, this is the one that caught my eye. Now, I'm not familiar at all with Starving Artist Brewing, but I'm always on the lookout for new beers and new breweries from our state just to bring them to you guys because they're probably new to you too. Now, according to their website, they're only a production brewery. They, that means they don't have a tap room. They don't have a tasting room on the premises, but they do offer tours and tastings. You just kind of schedule them with them. Now, it also looks like they're available in much of the west and central part of the lower peninsula, and they're as far east as Shiawassee County. So now that you know a little bit more about Starving Starving Artist, a little bit more. Let's take a look at the label. We'll get this into a glass. Fun fact, Bob Marley is the fifth highest earning dead celebrity. Let that sink in. He's been dead for quite a while. The fifth highest earning. So this is a, this, we'll just take a look at the can here. So this is a, a yellow can uh, with green and red, and it has this face on it with basically with like a dolly mustache, like a handlebar mustache. And it's kind of cool. I just was looking at this before I started filming. And the mouth is like a artist's palette with the little hole in it for your thumb and everything. And the hair on this guy, it looks like it's wheat and it's got some hop cones, some some other kind of leaves going on in here. So it's, it's a pretty cool little uh, artist rendition. Again, it says double X for a double IPA, hop Marley, 16 ounces. And again, the O is an artist palette. And then on the back here, it says, feast your taste buds on hot Marley or double IPA. Heavy citrus, low bitterness, and balanced malt. Profile will make this a double IPA, refreshing and memorable. Grab a friend and get ready to chill them on. And then on the side here, it says, packaged by Starving Artist Brewing in Ludington, Michigan, 49431. And of course, the government warning has a little bit more of the Starving Art Artist logo, which is, again is the palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my IPA glass. There is no date on this can. Uh, now, David sent this to me just about two weeks ago, and, I, and I'm sure it was probably pretty fresh when he sent it along. But um, there's no date on this can. I don't see any kind of date on the label or even on the bottom, usually where they're printed or on the edge. But um, yeah, this is 80 IBU and this says 10% ABV. And uh, yeah, that's a double IPA that's gonna be pretty fierce. Let's go ahead and crack this open. We're gonna smell right out of the can. It smells actually, uh, Pretty fragrant, it smells really citrusy. I'm getting a lot of citrus, that's really all I'm getting directly out of the can here. Yeah, I just wiped down my surface with like a bleach wipe, so I'm getting, I'm not getting a lot of scent other than just kind of citrus, really strong orange coming out of here, so let's go ahead and pour it. Very orange coming out of the can, a lot more orange than I would have expected. A nice head is building up there really well. I didn't pour this whole can. I'm going to let this head die down a little bit. But as you can see, uh, a lot of nice carbonation coming up from the top still. And you can see from the overhead, it's got really kind of compact bubbles, really nicely holding on. They're not dissipating too quickly. Uh, there's no like... It's a little foamy around the edge of the head. Let's get a get a hold up to the light here. It's a little bit hazy. It's not totally clear. It's not totally un uh, totally filtered. Um, it's a little bit lighter here on the bottom and on the top here. It gets to be a little more of a bursting kind of orange color. Um, very citrus reminiscent though. Let's get a better nose here. It smells sweet. It smelled citrus out of the can. It smells a lot sweeter here. Kind of like a hop sweet, or I'm sorry, a malt sweetness coming through. Let's pour a little bit more. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of citrus, a lot of like a sweet uh, malty kind of scent as well. Pour it up to the top and let's get a, let's go ahead and just dive right in here. Cheers.
It's got this little bit of a bitter bite at the very beginning, but it's really um, a lot of citrus and it comes through very sweet. It's got a really nice sweet flavor to it, really mild sweetness. Let's go ahead and get another glass or a, another drink here and I'll give you a little bit more information. Mouthfeel is actually kind of creamy. It's got like a creamy mouthfeel to it. Yeah, it's like this sweetness, the citrus sweetness comes through at the beginning with a little bit of a maltiness in there. And then as you kind of hold it in your mouth and that sweetness, it, it gradually gives way to this really uh, striking bitter citrus note. And then it finishes off. So it hits that sweetness up front, really kind of gradually fades into this really strong citrus bitterness. And then as it fades, that starts to fade on the swallow. The sweetness comes through a little bit more, a little bit more orangey sweetness. And um, the aftertaste is kind of like this biting bitterness, but it's not overpowering. It's not too much. It's like, it's like a really refreshing kind of bitterness on the tail end too, but it's it's mixed with the sweetness. So the sweetness that came through at the beginning kind of wraps around and gets you on the aftertaste as well with that bitterness, you know, being sandwiched in between the sweetness. So it's like sweetness, bitterness, and then bitterness and then sweetness again. So it's, there's something in the middle there that I, I can't quite put my finger on. I think that's a little bit of a, of a malty sweetness in there. Yeah, that kind of orange, really sweet orange flavor comes through. Then again, the bitterness, then this kind of malt sweetness, and then the bitterness again on the aftertaste, and then the aftertaste, the, the bitterness on the aftertaste subsides, and then you're getting a lot of um, kind of, again, a sweet citrus flavor. It's not it's not what I'd call juicy. It doesn't have a juicy taste. It's not like a bursting, really bursting, juicy, orangey flavor, but it's a really nice, uh, sweet, orange flavor right up front again, then the bitterness, then this like malt sweetness, and then bitterness again, then sweetness on the finish. I don't know if I could say that I've had something quite like this. I, I actually really enjoy it. It's 10% according to the can. I don't get much of an alcohol bitterness or an alcohol bite or any kind of burn in my chest. It's it's just kind of a really nice, refreshing, sweet uh, double IPA, and it's got that really nice, creamy mouthfeel. Uh, I would say this is extremely dangerous because the weather's starting to finally break and warm up a little bit now. Um, this would be a really great beer to just kind of relax at the end of a night, have a beer with your buddy, um, but I think if you kind of... if you know, you bought a couple of these and you started kind of wading into the deep water at 10%, you're gonna pay for it at the end. It's just really dangerous because it's just so deceiving. It tastes so sweet and so has that bitterness to it. When I took a really quick swallow there, it was really just all sweetness. There wasn't much bitterness to speak of. Let's do that one more time. Yeah, the bitterness is just kind of hangs out in the back of my soft palate when I take a really quick swallow, but it's just really nice and refreshing. It's it's with a quick drink, it's sweet all the way through with just a really kind of a, a crest of bitterness. But as you if you take a slower sip, if you take a slower drink and you sit and you analyze it, you get those that sandwiched sweetness like the sweetness sandwiches the bitterness right in the middle with that malt sweetness dead center in the middle when you take a quick drink you get all that mixed together and and the sweetness kind of wins out you don't get much bitterness but you do get a taste of it wow starving artist if this is again i say this quite a bit on some of these beers but if if this is an indication of what other kind of beer they have i'm really looking forward to trying more of it all right, friends, that has been Hop Marley from Starving Artist Brewing. Have you had this? Have you seen it on the shelves? Do you prefer your IPAs to be a little bit more on that hoppy side, a little bit more on the juicy side or the sweet side? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like Michigan beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about Michigan beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's all free for viewers just like you. And you never know, 
you might miss your next favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. Also, don't forget to text or call in your questions for my Q&A video by contacting me at 224-DRAFT20. I'll be picking someone at random to win some draft therapy goodies and maybe some other goodies too. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.